that notion of the frozen gesture is something that you've pursued in, in a number of different works, and um, you know, particularly in, in the urethane, the poured urethane works. Um, yeah, I mean, it was really identifying ceramics as being a success for me. This gesture that was frozen in time, but they were so small, you know, for the most part, the ceramics they can't go that big. Um, and I like that about the ceramics, but I wanted to take something from that like learning curve of having done the ceramics, and I wanted to make something that had the same impact, but on a much larger scale. And I first started using urethane in a very like non-traditional way. It was mostly meant to be cast. So you know, when you mix an A and a B and it's fluid, you're supposed to pour it into a vessel that takes form. It's, it's a material that was strictly made to be for casting. And I immediately thought, no, this should just be poured over an abstract form, a very rude armature, until it's built up to the, to the kind of synopsis of an app, you know, a stalagmite, stalactite scenario. But the urethane sculptures for me with the ceramics were like this very, very, very identifiable thing of like what I was trying to represent.